I'm Erica, also known as Emonique, and this is my real life. Hang out with me as I side-eye the ups and stumble through the downs. Watch as I turn my tiny piece of the Arizona desert into a tropical oasis. Fight to beat infertility and figure out where I fit as an artist in this crazy creative world. All while awkwardly discovering my authentic self. I'll be talking out loud about the things I wish someone would have said a while ago and sorting through what I wish I didn't know. Who knows? Maybe you can relate as I often ask myself. Okay. What better way to get back motivated than to finally have all the things you need to start checking your blood sugar. What is that? Is that the needle? No, this is the needle. So I had the needles. I didn't have the test strip, which is weird. Okay, so I have this thing, this blood sugar monitor, and it came with the monitor and it came with needles, but it didn't come with these, which were the little strips. So I drug my ass ordering those and I just got them. Oh my God. I don't know why this makes me so freaking nervous. I've stuck needles in my body, in my, in here and in here many times. And this is what scares me. I don't, I don't get it, but we're going to start today i haven't had any water i haven't had my meds i haven't had any tea i haven't had any breakfast so um i'm trying to hurry up so i can move on about my morning how do i fucking do this so okay oh okay okay okay, 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 okay. so there's this thing that comes with it this is the needle puncture thing and you take the top off then you have this thingy. And then here are the needles. And I guess you take this off, you screw it off. Oh, I did it wrong. Okay, I should have put the, this flat part in here and then taken it off. But I'm new and I don't understand the instructions. They're not giving me what I need, so we're just gonna. Oh, okay. Ooh, I'm scared. All right, so the needle is in there now. And so, so now what? What the? F it keeps giving me instructions for the thing itself, not this. Then there's this. Ugh. Here we go. Remove the thingy. Oh, no. So confused. Okay, down here. Back. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Pull the slider back until it clicks when you inserted the lancet. Then what? 
Push, okay. Oh my god, preparing the meter. So I gotta get the meter ready because once I start bleeding. Girl, this is too much. They're magnetic. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now put this in here. Oh, okay, now the shit is lit up. I'm scared. Put that in there, puncture your finger, holding the Lancet device firmly against the side of your finger. Press the release button. Removing, remove the Lancet device from your finger. <sighs> Girl, tell me why I don't want to do this. It's not a good idea. Wait, 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 wait. Get a round drop of blood. Wash your hands and the sample site with some water to rinse and dry completely. Contaminants on the skin may affect the results. So do we do it on the side or in the middle? Girl, I don't want to do this. It's just a little bitty thing, right? Fuck me. Either side, channel, or here. Apply a drop of blood here. Ugh. Bro, I cannot express to you how afraid I am of this. How, okay, so when I push this, it's gonna. Is it in there good enough? I don't understand how this is supposed to work. Just do it, E, and get it over with. The picture has it this way, but he's squeezing the finger like this. So which is it? I guess it doesn't matter. Ha! <laughs> no, I just touched it a little bit and it hurt. Bro, fuck this. There's gotta be a better way. Oh! No, 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 no. No, no, no. I mean, no. Simply and respectfully. I could just get it over with. Fuck me. This is probably the first and the last time that I'm gonna do this. Like, seriously. Seriously. Shit. E, just do it, just do it, just do it, just do it. Just do it, right? Just do it. This is so fucking wild to me. Just do it. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It'll be quick though. It'll be quick. If you allow it to be quick. But if you keep fucking talking and prolonging this mental pain, it's going to be long and painful. Just do it. Oh, I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Oh, I cannot push this button. <laughs> I cannot push this button. Fuck me. Just be done with it. No, I don't want to. <sighs> okay, now that I understand how it works, it's a quick little boo boo. <sighs> Just do it. Okay. 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 I would rather. There are so many other things that I would rather fucking do right now than this. Just do it, E. Come on. It's not gonna kill you. A 
side will her bless. Fuck. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. No. Who does this? A lot of people do. Oh. Motivation to get my ass back in the gym. Get back on track. Stop with the carbs and the sweets. Come on, E. Come on, you got it, you got it, you got it. Like I absolutely am not doing it this morning. And I'm wasting, like it's been minutes. I'm not, I'm not doing it. So, <laughs> fuck you. Blood sugar monitor. Respectfully. for me to me it's a happy friday uh i've got my my red wine food what food food for what oh food um oh, yes i just i just swished with my red wine that's how fucking good it is man i've missed you oh Good wine. I love a good wine. Now, yes, I have been drinking, period, um, off and on throughout the year. It took me a little while after the, uh, after the loss in January. I was so guilty, not guilty, but like afraid. Well, I guess the guilt was a little bit, but like mostly afraid. I was so afraid to have a drink of wine or anything for so long after I, I lost the, the baby. <clears throat> that was a weird thing for me because I was just like, I refuse to do it. By the time, when did I start drinking again? I feel like, I don't know. It was like summer spring summer i think one of you well, somebody could go back into my videos and probably pinpoint when i had my first glass of wine i feel like it wasn't any sooner than like march or april regardless i have been drinking off and on this year but i've been trying to like keep it light um it picked up in frequency and in intensity, probably around when my grandmother was in the hospital and when she passed away. We did a lot of drinking that week. It was like every day, the family just got together and we just drank. But it wasn't like binge drinking. We were just like every day we would have a drink or two, but it wasn't like bingers, you know what I mean? But it was definitely more than what I had been used to because going from not drinking at all or not drinking at all to like every here and there, again, like I just said, it's taking me like I now I can't even drink a full glass of wine or I hadn't been able to drink a full glass of wine. I'm drinking this hoe, all of her. Um, but like going from that to then like having alcohol like liquor like cocktails every night you know anyways what i'm trying to say is that i am reminded every so often of how delicious a quality wine is or a quality cocktail um yeah and i'm just it brings me so much joy to just have this glass of wine on a friday I deserve it. After the week I had. Shit. So let's just, let's just chit chat. Let's just catch up because my ass has been slacking in the 
picking up and recording on a weekly basis, so a lot has happened, and I keep saying that, I know, I'm sorry. A lot has happened that um, I've just kind of skipped out on recording and expressing myself about. So let's just talk about what's on my mind at this moment, okay? So fucking get this. Girl, why did I this week start really writing down and planning out like my next step towards starting round eight like I've been talking about round eight all year and like nothing has happened right mostly because I needed to get around this trip to Belize now that that's over like I'm ready to go full throttle but I'm not ready to go full throttle you know what I mean so I'm like okay let's write out the plan the loose plan of what's needed what I want to do all this and all that which would give me an idea of when to realistically get off the birth control so that I can start the drive to Cali right so what did I even log on for I logged on my my health insurance site for what oh because part of my plan was gonna be this and I think maybe I've said this in one of the other videos but one of the the thoughts that I had was depending on how the first couple rounds starting back go as far as my um, egg retrievals, depending on how my ovaries are looking and like my follicles and how many like what's happening this this first couple weeks after the year break that I've had, depending on what they look like, I might just stop trying to force a retrieval and go straight to like donor eggs or donor embryo while I still have a few thousand dollars left in my benefit, right? Because if I just keep pushing and pushing and pushing and use and I use up the rest of my money and then I decide, oh, okay, well, I guess I really need to do donor egg or donor embryo. I'm not going to have fucking money to do. Um, I'm not going to have the money that I have had to continue. And then on top with purchasing donor eggs and all whatever that even fucking entails. Right. So I'm like, before I get before I exhaust all that money, depending on what it's looking like, I might need to shift gears and go this route. So what I, my thought process was, I have a fertility benefit with my company and I also have an adoption benefit, an adoption assistance, right? So I'm like, if my fertility benefit won't cover the cost of donor eggs and embryo because they are wildly expensive, like IVF isn't. I mean, all of it, all of it is crazy expensive. Um, donor eggs are like anywhere from four to twelve thousand dollars for at just the eggs, just the eggs, right? Um, so my thought process was, oftentimes the term adopting an embryo or embryo adoption is used in infertility and trying to conceive and in that world right um so it's like if we're if we're calling it embryo adoption then maybe that would be under assisted adoption right like my thought process is maybe that specific benefit will help me cover the cost of adopting an embryo Right, so I logged on for that because I just wanted to get more information. I wanted to see what it covered. Totally got debunked because that circles back to the IRS and taxes. And so you get a tax break for adopting a child, okay? Embryos are not considered living children and therefore are not eligible for a tax break okay relevant shit so technically you cannot get assistance at least through my benefit with my company with adopting an embryo because per the irs 
An embryo is not a living child. Fucking interesting, right? All of this and all of this that's going on in the country about whether embryos are children or not and blah, 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 blah. Interesting. Um, so that got debunked rather quickly. But while I was on my, my site, I scroll down and I look at my deductible. Bish, I don't know how this happened and I don't know when it happened, but tell me why I only have like $800 left on my deductible to get to the point where I needed to get for the year, which complicates my entire situation. And it, it, com it, it pisses me off because what did I even get this year that constituted me like getting so close to meeting my deductible. What even happened? I don't even know. And when did it happen? Because I swear like the beginning of the year towards the, the start of summer, I checked that site every single day to see if anything was going to hit to like get me past. And every single time it was like, yeah, you have like $1,800 left on your deductible. Like all the appointments, all the things, I had only racked up $200 worth towards. And I checked it and I checked it and I checked it and I checked it and I, there was nothing pending. So now all of a sudden I'm $800 away from meeting my deductible and October has fucking started infuriates me because now it's like, I feel a sense of urgency towards starting a cycle this year. And again, it's October and I have November and December and that's it. Like, oh. Uh, right because once I meet my deductible first of all it's only $800 once that's there then I'm gonna get mad help from the insurance company on the rest of like my cycle so and then if I don't act on it this year and I start next year like I really anticipated having to do at this point because we're already at the end of the year um, then I have to start that all the way fucking over and I'm having to pay the $2,000 out of pocket and then, like, again, and then the insurance kicks in. And it's just like, this is so unfair. Uh, so unfair. And, like, I keep talking about, like, the plan as far as the insurance and costs and things because, obviously, I have a expensive health insurance plan high deductible i chose that because i don't make a lot of money like my salary is right so i have chosen for several years now to pay a higher deductible with a low premium throughout the year so that i can have more of my paycheck to live on right versus having a low deductible and having half of my fucking check being taken, right? And at this point, I feel like there are so many changes that have been made that I don't really have very many options anymore. Plus I pay into my HSA account. So it's just like, I have had to strategically pick and choose and decide how I'm gonna do it for years now being at this company. And it's so fucking hard. So, and it takes, it takes a lot for me to like rack up $2,000 deductible. Cause again, I don't, I don't get my blood transfusions every year anymore. Like I just, I don't, I got an infusion this year and maybe that's what kicked in. That's probably what, oh, that's probably what kicked in last minute, bro. I forgot about that. That's what it was that kicked in super last minute because I did get my iron infusion. Well, it was soon after the loss. It was like in March yeah, or February. No, it was in February. February, March, I got my infusion. And it's October and I'm just now seeing it. But even after, after I got the infusion, I was checking it all the time to see if anything was going to kick in. Anyways, that's what it was. Um, so now I'm like, fuck. 
like I said, I feel a sense of urgency to hurry up and get my shit together like right, right, right now so that I can start at least get through one cycle this year Bef like while my deductible, I only have a little bit left before it starts all over again in January. Fuck me. You know what would really help is if this November when we make our elections and I'm not talking about fucking political. I mean like health insurance choices in November. What would really help me is for them to just switch out fertility companies. Because if we could please, please get progeny. Oh my God. Like none of this would be a problem. So I'm told. So I hear. Like, none of this would be an issue. And, like, the stress and the weight of, like, trying to figure this out would be eliminated, which is so much better for my health all around. Mental, emotionally, physically would be so much better. But, no, I have to pick and choose and nickel and dime and budget and da 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 Now, granted, like, this is a very privileged point of view and complaint that I'm having because I realize that a lot of people, a lot of people still do not have any coverage at all. In fact, there are a lot of women in my, in my group that I go to every month that do not have coverage at all. They are paying out of fucking pocket and I cannot imagine. However, there are two working bodies in their relationship to help with said goal. I am one person working off a, I won't use the word minuscule income, but low income, especially for this economy and this fucking state of the planet, my salary is wild boots, wild boots, which, you know, it makes me want to jump ship every five seconds, like just get another job, not like a second job, but another job. But then I think about all of the other benefits that come with this low salary ass job, like the schedule, the flexibility, like how I fucking left the office at like 3.30 today and like some other times this week, how, how I rolled in there kind of late this week also, how I, how long my lunches are, like, you know, some of the bonuses that I get, I feel like I'm prosecuting myself right now. Anyways, I think about all of the other benefits that I get with this job, and I'm like, man, why fuck that up right now? Like, do better, act better. So, um, you know, specifically today, I was just like, as much as I don't want to get another secondary, tertiary job, because it just eats up my day. Like, I swear, I come home and I have a few hours to, like, cook, eat, scratch my ass, and then I have to go to bed and wake up and do it all over again. Like, you know, I get that many Americans, if not most, have 15 jobs, but shit, that life is not for me. I'm not about that life. Like, I just... <sighs> and that's another thing. Like, I hate this like office corporate job but i have it because i have to survive i have to live i'm a creative not that i've been creative lately but i am a creative soul i'm a creative heart and i hate working in this way i hate it i do anyways we're supposed to be catching up not ranting so yeah bitch i have like $800 left on my deductible and now I'm like how the fuck am I gonna do this so now I'm like I'm a little bit stressed because I did not want to do this but I need to I spent quite a bit of money on my trip and so now I'm having to like recuperate from that a bit so that I can go ahead and hit the button on this donor vial and um the donor vial is going to cost me what it's going to cost me. It's still very fucking reasonable compared to like my original donor. Like he's just not even in the picture anymore. It's just so expensive. Um, so now I've got my eyes set on this, this other donor that I really, 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 really want. Um, 
but I was just hoping to have a little bit more time to nicely make that purchase and then nicely get a little bit more money together so that I can have the option to test the embryos so that I could do PGTA for the first time so that I can nicely have you know what I need for whatever meds they want to put me on which it's not going to be much but still so that I can nicely you know what I mean just like have a better um not a better plan but like I really wanted to take better care of myself going back into it like I wanted enough money to get a hotel every once in a while so that I wouldn't have to do turnaround trips every single time and just so that I could rest, um, so that I could just feel better while I'm doing this process and not be like, okay, well, I got to do this because I only have this and I can't do this and I'm stressing because my deductible is $54,000 and you know what I mean? Like I just do not under any circumstances want a repeat of last year. And last year was exhausting for me physically, mentally, emotionally, financially. Like towards the end, was that my second transfer? Yeah. Was that the second one? Yeah. No. Was it? That was my first transfer. Yeah, my first transfer. Damn, has it had it already been two years? Wow. So my first transfer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What a fucking mess. My first transfer, or like my first. It was it was past the transfer. We were taking pregnancy tests at the, at that point. Um, I rolled in there one day to like get my pregnancy test, my second pregnancy test. And, um, they told me that I had thousands of dollars that I owed that I needed to pay right then and there before I got my test. And I'm like, where did the, f what are you talking about? What are you talking about, bro? So I, I just want to be, I wanted to be prepare for their bullshit delayed ass fucking billing this time around because it's delayed as fuck and then they don't really tell you before you book your appointment hey you're you've got a bill that's coming up before your appointment just thought you should know before you come and be surprised you know what i mean i just anyways so that has been on my fucking mind loosely but heavily. What else? <sighs> oh, so it's October and this is how, this is how I know I'm old. And I, I, what is that? The window? This is how I know I'm old. I, don't really do Halloween, not for any specific reason. I just, it's not my thing, right? Halloween's not my thing. Thanksgiving is not my thing. Christmas is my thing, right? But it's Halloween. It's October. It's supposed to be fall. And I'm like really in the like creepy, spooky, not quite horror, not quite thriller mood, like TV wise, movie wise. And um, typically I have loved scary movies, love them, right? So like scrolling through now, I'm trying to find what to watch and I'm like cringing at everything. Like, mm, I don't wanna watch that, Ew, no. Mm. Like I'm more sensitive to like scary stuff. I've never liked gore, never liked it. But like the scary stuff, I'm like, hell no. Nah. So it's funny because what I've been watching are like natural disaster type movies because that's scary to me. And um, just like very childish, goofy, scary things. Like not actually scary things because I apparently can't handle it anymore. But I came across this show on 
Oh, first of all, I watched the, what's it called? The fucking new scary movie on um, Amazon Prime called House of Spoils. Loved it. Loved it. It was weird. It was really, really weird, but I loved everything about it. First of all, I love cooking movies, chef movies, love them. It's like top on the list. That cooking movies and, and doctor medical shows, my favorites, right? So it's a cooking movie and it's scary and, and, but like weird, you know what I mean? But super fucking artsy, very artsy. I loved it. Artsy fartsy scary cooking movie. Loved it. So that, I started with that. And then I was like, what else? What else is there out there like that? So then I came across on Netflix this show called The Midnight Club. <laughs> first of all, I almost did not continue giving it a chance because like the first 15 minutes of the first episode was so cheesy, corny, and I hated the acting. And I'm like, what is this storyline? But I am all in. It's basically, it, it feels like it has to be a teenage um, show, I guess. So you know how teen kid shows, they're like, they have that level of kid about it. Um, it's about teens. And for me, it's like a souped up 3.0 version of Goosebumps. <laughs> you know. I love Goosebumps. Um, terrible now. Trash now. But The Midnight Club is about this group of terminally ill teenagers who live in a hospice house who are being haunted by each other. <laughs> like they're haunting each other and they're also being haunted by something in this fucking house. And um, the reason why I call it like Goosebumps is because like within the story, they each tell a scary story, like a creep. Well, sometimes they're scary. Sometimes they're not, or it's about whatever, like their dreams or love or wishes or whatever. Um, I fucking love it. And it's from 2022 and it's only one season. So apparently nobody else loved it. And so they're not going to come out with another season, especially after all this time. But, um, I'm on like episode seven or so, and I like, I'm all in. Loved it. That's fun for me. That's Halloween for me. All of the other super scary shit. Oh, I was gonna watch Insidious, but then I'm like, hold on. Before I watch this particular Insidious, I don't know what the name of it was. Insidious, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I was like, let me make sure that this is the third one because the one that popped up for me was like the kid, the boy that was being um, haunted. He's like in college now. And I'm like, when the fuck did that happen? Where, where was high school? So I'm like, wait, let me make sure that this is the third one. And I find out that there's like five or six insidious. And I'm like, w when did all of this happen? And it's got the same people in it, like the same kid, the same parents, every, everybody's in it. I'm like, how did I miss that? I feel like I've only seen insidious one and two. But like three through whatever the fuck, I didn't even know existed. Excuse me. And of course, they're all on like different platforms that I don't have. And I'm like, why can't you all just put the collection all in one place? Like, why do you have to break up the movies? That's so stupid to me. Like nobody's going to have five different streaming apps so that they can watch one series of movies. Dumb. I was going to watch that. But then once I found all of that out, I'm like, screw it. Um, I rewatched Wednesday, which was so cute. I love that show. I need them to move it along and do another season because that show was cute. Made me laugh. What else have I been watching for Halloween? -y? I guess that's it. Anyways, I'm sitting on the floor running my mouth, bumping my gums because I'm trying to like put this together. I ordered a, 
what do you call it? A record player stand, finally. Like I've been wanting one for a while. And here's, here's what I do, okay? When it comes to furniture, I will pick out something and sit on it for a year or longer, sometimes years, to make sure that it's what I want, to compare with other things that are similar, to make sure it's the price that I want, to see if there are any sales that come about. When it comes to furniture, it takes me forever to make a decision for me to pull the trigger on the item and just purchase it, right? So I have wanted a an actual like media console, TV console, record player. I wanted a separate record player stand or situation, but my my permanent overall vision for that isn't going to come until I get like a a house. So for now, it's like, okay, the TV console, I don't, like, I don't really need that because I have a little TV right now. I don't have a lot of space. So like, where the fuck are you, am I going to put all this furniture? And I refuse to cover up my windows. So like, just right now I'm using, I'm using a, it's from Target. It's a console. I'm pretty sure it was sold as a console table shelf. It's like a really skinny thing that typically people put behind their couches. Um, I'm using that as a TV stand. I've got plants on it, of course. I've got my record player, a speaker, and my records, and my PlayStation. All of that is on there, and it's, it's worked out. It's nice the way that I have it, but I wanted a separate situation to go in another area to nicely um, place my records and probably, do I wanna, as it stands right now in this apartment, I have the record player sand. I will not be putting the record player on it. I will only be putting the records on it. The rest of it, I'm gonna put my plants on. And I know that sounds wild boots, whatever, whatever. This is how it's gonna work out in my head. Now, when I put the shit together and put it up, what that's gonna look like, I don't know. But I picked this one specifically because I like the simplistic look of it. Um, I like the color wood. It's gonna match with all the other earthy brown shit in here. And it's the perfect size for where I wanna put it, which is right at the end of my island. So, it's here and um, I'm excited to put it together because I love building and I love new stuff. So, all right, six steps, blah, blah, blah. Can you see that? No, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> let's unpack, oh, let's get all this stuff out. And I know that this, the sun is probably annoying the hell out of you, but you know, even though I'm talking to you right now, it is still technically my sun time. I must get my lizard on every single day, okay? Because eventually winter is coming and the sun is not going to be, like the sun already has lost its intensity. So I have to take advantage of my afternoon sun time while I have it. Anyways, pieces. legs let's look at these legs all right the legs are ugly and basic but they are wood black there's other black things in here so that's okay the legs are long so it's gonna sit up somewhat tall which is cute about a me So yeah, I, I spent a lot of time going back and forth on which record player I want, record player stand, um, which is funny because I've spent even longer time, pretty much the entire time that I've lived here now, and it's been over two years, um, even longer deciding 
which bar stools I want here. So I feel at this point shame that I've lived here this long and I still do not have bar stools to have a proper dinner at the table at the island, but it's because I'm so freaking meticulous about how I want my furniture to look cohesively and the quality of things now. Like I'm tired of having stick figure furniture, but at the same time, I don't want permanent furniture, like big bulky heavy ass furniture in my apartment. Like I cannot handle it. And I've been in both. I've been in situations where I've had bulky ass, heavy ass, ridiculous furniture that I have literally like wanted to drop off the side of a truck and did um, before moving in here. And I've had stick furniture. And I'm like, I want to have people come over and be comfortable at my place and not be worried that they're going to break my stick furniture and it's not comfortable. And I'm not comfortable in it anymore. Like I'm grown, like, ugh. anyway. So the way that I've been heavy on this, like between Amazon and what's that shit called? Bed Bath & Beyond slashed Overstock now and the way that I've been on Pinterest and looking at different bar stools is crazy. However, the the bar stools that I have had in my cart for over a year in Bed Bath & Beyond, I fucking found on Amazon. So that's amazing. But now I've seen other things on Amazon that are really, really cute. And now I'm like switching and I'm like changing my mind about the ones that I've been saving. So... This is what happens when you sit on things for too long, your mind changes. Same thing happened with my dishes. For the longest time, I wanted this very specific set of crate and barrel white dishes. They were the Aspen Coop white dishes from crate and barrel. I had them in my cart for years, years. And so when I got here, I'm like, now's my time to hit the button and get the dishes. Well, I didn't. So then here comes freaking World Market with this beautiful color blue set of Japanese ceramic dishes. <laughs> and the way that that Crate and Barrel Aspen Coop basic white ass dishes flew out of my mind and I ordered a whole set from um, World Market, that's just what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened. And I love those dishes. Love them. And they're so unique. They're beautiful. I mean, Japanese ceramic? Come on. Come on. Had to have them. All right, what do we got? What do we got? This is a different looking piece. Oh, no, it's not. It's the same. No, it's not. It's different. These must be like the side pieces. The side pieces. Um... So what else has been going on? Trying to figure out if I'm the asshole or not. Well, I already did. I already asked the question about if I'm the asshole or not. I don't know why I keep asking it. I have the answer. No, I'm not the asshole. So why do I feel like it? Because I have a, I have a problem with healthy boundaries and I need to stick to a healthy boundary and not let my guilt take over and let people like run over me and take advantage. That's why. Ugh, relationships are hard. Relationships are fucking hard. You have to know yourself so well before you look at somebody else or think that, you know, the other person is going to, you have to know yourself, you have to be prepared, you have to be able to put in the work, you just, I just need more, I require more out of all of my relationships at this, this big middle aged, middle 30 aged version of me, I require more and I'm just tired and I would rather start fresh and be alone than like continuing to put up with what I don't deserve like I just I want more I want more for myself I want more out of people I expect more 
And you know, the people that have been in my life have not given me that. I have been the giver and I just over that shit. So I just have to stick to it and don't give in. Don't give in because that's how, um, the fuck? Why are these all beat up? Oh, that has a thing on it. But these are definitely beat up, these shelves. And I think that may have been part of a review or two or five that these corners be beat up. Okay. So, do I need tools or do I need... Do they give me an Allen? Yeah, they give me an Allen wrench. Okay. Anyways. Like, I don't... I kind of want to talk about that, but I don't really want to talk about that because... What's the point? Girl, how how is it that the, the corner protectors that you put on here break and the thing still gets chipped? wild boots. How much did I pay for this? I think this was on sale. I waited until it was prime day to get this. Which was a good move on my part because I don't know about it. I don't know about it. What else is in here? Nothing? Just box? Ugh. Get the instructions back out. So while I'm sitting here drinking this wine and like not having eaten the best today and being a total chicken shit and not pricking my finger to test my blood today, like I need to get my shit together. It's been like a really rough homecoming since the vacation. I won't say really rough, but it's been a little rocky. It's been a little rocky um, coming back here. It's like back to reality, back to stress, back to grief, back to hormonal fluctuations, which I definitely had. Um, I'm feeling better. like yesterday and today but I just need to get back on track with everything and get re-motivated and only I can motivate myself I have to want it bad enough um, and I do but clearly not enough to like continue doing what I know I need to do like eating right not drinking vitamins and supplements, working out, super hydrating, all the things, you know what I mean? <sighs> Vacation can be good and it also can be like hard to like come back from. Big boy, you big son of a biatch. You are big. I'm sitting down and looking at a different angle of big boy and I swear that that newest leaf looks like a paddle like a, what do you call it? Like a rowing paddle for a canoe, it, it's huge. And it's still light green. So it's just like, are you still growing? Why are you still looking like a baby? Anyways, my plants, like I said, I feel like they get a boost of growth. Um, They get a boost of growth at the end of growing season, which is weird, but I like it. I just, I would like for them to be a little healthier. Quality, not quantity, you know, guys? But anyways, where was I? I was talking about something. I don't fucking know. That I, um, you know, I'm ready to get back motivated. My body craves it, my mood craves it, my sleep craves it, my health craves it, especially if I'm gonna 
I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I really feel like I need to figure out how to kickstart everything. Stop buying stuff on Amazon. Like I really don't buy a lot on Amazon, but I have spent a lot over the last month in pre preparation for this trip, while on the trip, and a little bit after. I've spent more in this short amount of time than I have in the last several years because I just have not been treating myself. Um, so there's a little bit of guilt there, but at the same time, it's like, you gotta live, like you gotta take care of yourself and have like simple pleasures, right? So now that that's over, I need to go back into sacrifice mode so that I can figure out how to kickstart this at least one cycle before the end of the year because I need to take advantage of this deductible being where it's at right now. Seriously. Anyways, it's getting tired now so I'm not going to keep running my mouth. I'm going to build this and shut up. Oh wait, step one was not to put the legs on this thing. Step one was to put 699 into, oh, this board. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> 